What's up, guys? Welcome back to Momenta Monday. My name is Steve Holbrook, and I'm so glad you're with us today. Today's podcast is going to be a little bit shorter. I want to get straight to the point. I want to talk about some things that I've been experiencing. I'm not sure if, if you guys knew or not. It's been on social media, but my wife and I recently moved all the way across Canada, all the way across the country, over 3,000 kilometers to a new city to, ex- to expand our business. And there's a lot of challenges that come with that. So as you're listening to this right now, I want you to ask yourself this question. Am I feeling overwhelmed? And if you are, then this podcast is for you. first thing I want to I want to urge you to do is just stop for a second and take a deep breath. Take a deep breath because you need to know that everything is going to work out. Everything is going to be okay. But sometimes taking on the unexpected can bring us down. Can knock us down. See, we were all excited to try something new. We were excited. We were excited about something. Something new had us excited. And now we took it on. Or maybe something got dropped into our lap that we didn't know we were going to have to deal with. But sometimes when you take on a new challenge and an unexpected challenge, you have these moments where you feel overwhelmed. And I just want you to know that that's normal. I felt those feelings. I'm feeling some of those feelings right now. It was a couple days ago and I was driving in my car. And I was getting caught up in all the things that I have going on. And there was a moment there where I said to myself, shit, did I get in too deep? And for a moment, those thoughts started circulating in my mind. I thought to myself, man, I don't have a fully drawn out plan. But then I reminded myself, Steve, you don't always need a plan to be successful. Sometimes you have to trust the process. And I've had those feelings of overwhelm. And and when there's a lot of moving parts happening, I mean, it was six weeks ago, we decided to move out to Ontario. Now we had to rent the house that that we own in Calgary. Now we had to find an Airbnb in Ontario. We had to find an office to work out of in in a market that we know nothing about. And all the challenges that come with that, we have three little kids that we're homeschooling. Displacing three kids is a big deal. We have a 120-pound dog named Dolly who we love as, as much as any of our kids. That's a, that's a tall task. So what do people do when they enter into that phase of their life where they've bitten off far more than they can chew? Well, let's talk about that. For you, it might be a new job. For you, it might be a new career path. You might have been placed in a new role with a company. There might have been something thrown on your plate that you didn't expect and now you have to step up. Maybe it's a leadership role. And it's easy at times to feel like your head is lifting off your shoulders. It's easy to feel lost. It's easy to feel scared. And the natural instinct is always going to be to go back to where you came from. Go back to what's comfortable. Go back to what you know. Get sucked back into that vortex. All the things that you used to be. All the things that you used to know. So what do you do when I enter into these situations with a certain mindset or a certain process? I just know in my heart, everything's going to work out. I just know everything's going to work out because I've been there before. And if I've gotten through it before, I can get through it again. And if I haven't been there before, I know that I have access to the mentors and the leaders that I need that have been there before. I just have to be willing to be coachable, blindly coachable to these mentors who have already been there and who are going to guide me and a lot of, in a lot of circumstances have invested interest to watch me succeed. So when I moved our entire family across the entire country, close to 3000 kilometers, and there wasn't a finished plan, I really needed to trust the process. I really needed, I really needed to rely on my habits and my routines that have carried me this far in my life. The habits and routines that got me here today, even today, as we're sitting here today filming this podcast. 
It was my habits, my rituals, my routine that guided me to this place today to record this podcast. I got three quick things I want to share with you. Three tips to overcoming the unexpected. These are things that I have to do. These are processes that I go through. Number one, don't change your routine. Don't change your routine. The best thing I did is when I moved my family here, I didn't change my routine, especially my morning routine. Your morning routine is what's going to guide you through the day. Most people, when they, when they get a new job or a new challenge or something unexpected happens, they change the routine. They think, oh, new opportunity to change my routine. And they get away from the routine that got them to where they're at. Don't change your morning routine. Number two, immediately stop doing everything that's not aligned with your purpose. I'm going to repeat that. Immediately stop doing everything that's not in line with your purpose. You have to eliminate things. You have to get everything out of your life that's not in line with with what the most important thing is that you're after. We do all these things. We have all these time wasters that we're a part of. If you're involved right now with some things that are unexpected, if you feel a little bit overwhelmed, if you feel like your wheels are spinning a little bit, you got to take a look at yourself and ask yourself, what are the things that I'm doing that I shouldn't be doing? And immediately get rid of those thoughts and habits. And the third, read your goals twice a day. You should go from once a day to twice a day. In fact, carry them with you. I was talking with one of the gals on my team this morning. She said, Steve, how often do you look at your goals? I say, every single day. I'm, I'm always so scared that things aren't going to work out. I'm scared that everything's going to fall apart. I'm scared that I'm going to work hard for all these years and I'm going to have nothing to show for it. So how do I ensure success? How do I ensure? How do I squeeze every ounce of certainty out of what I'm doing so that I know for almost for sure that I'll be successful? I always have my goals with me. I always have my reasons They need to be clearly defined before you take something on. If you don't know why you're going to take something on, you're not going to do it. 75 hard was a great example for me. I needed to decide it early on in 75 hard. For those of you who don't know what 75 hard is, you can Google it. 75 hard Andy Frisella. It's a mental and fitness challenge that he put together for 75 straight days. You have to work out twice a day. One workout has to be outside and you can't do those workouts back to back. You have to drink four liters of water and you have to read 10 pages of a good book and you have to take a picture of yourself in the mirror every day and you can't have one cheat meal and this is every day for 75 days. Yeah, that was something unexpected that was thrown on my plate. You know what I had to figure out? I had to figure out why I was going to finish it because if I hadn't figured out why I was going to finish it, I would have never figured it out. I had no plan early on. I decided 24 hours before I took the challenge that I was going to do the challenge. But you know what I had? I had a process. I had habits. I had rituals. And once I figured out why I needed to do 75 hard, and it was one of the best things that I ever did in my entire life, everything just came to fruition. And now here I am, 3,000 kilometers away from everything that I knew. And I've never been more excited, and I've never been more confident, and I've never been more fired up in my entire life for anything. Not because I have a well laid out plan and I know how everything's going to go. Because I have some habits and some rituals and a routine that I refuse to break. And that gives me the certainty to know in my heart that it's going to work out. And everything's going to be okay. So, I hope you got some value out of that. I hope there's something I said that resonated with you. And I appreciate you tuning in. Guys, if you get value from this, all I ask is that you go to iTunes or Spotify, wherever you're listening to it. Please give me a rating. Please give me a review. And please share it on social media. I appreciate it. We get more downloads every single week, week over week. For 10 weeks in a row, we've grown our downloads every single week. This podcast has taken on literally a mind of its own. It has way further reach than I ever dreamed of. And it just seems to be growing exponentially. And that's because of you. So thank you so much for the support. It really means a lot to me. And I look forward to hearing, look forward to, to hearing the next podcast. I'm going to be doing the next podcast. I look forward to, to sharing the next podcast with you in a couple of weeks. So appreciate you guys. Have an awesome week.